Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Glove Bros. Coming to you guys with another video today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an outfield glove uh, break-in. So a lot of you guys have asked me to do this one. I know I'm not the the biggest outfielder. I don't play outfield much at all. That's why this glove is actually leaving. Um, it's lined up in a deal for what I'm getting on Friday. I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but it will be up soon. So uh, this is a Rawlings Heart of the High Dual Core Pro 301. CDC dash six BS. So this is one of the dual core line gloves. So this glove did come pretty um, broken in naturally, but that really is just the as far as the leather goes, not developing a pocket or a form or anything like that. So this glove I did break in uh, two in the pinky. Show you guys just how it squeezes. I'm really almost at that point where I'm fully done, and this thing just. It's not even in the pocket, and it just inhales a ball. So uh, for this, I don't know about you guys, but this is—I'm just going to talk about my perspective. Um, I got a lot of comments during the pitchers video, along with the just regular infield break-in tutorial. Um, people not necessarily doing it the same way that I do, and that's totally fine. Um, you don't have to agree with me, and I'm just going to say how I do it, and it's just that simple. So. For an outfield glove, I want to make the outfield glove as deep as possible. That's just something that I've always been a big fan of. Um, I'm going to spread out the fingers. I'm going to make it as deep as possible because I want as much surface area to catch the ball as possible. That's all I'm going for in the outfield. So for this one, first thing you want to do is uh, loosen up the fingers. Optional. I think it's a good idea. Just my two cents. Um, what I'm really going to focus on is, again, a dual hinge break-in that gives you the most consistent pocket, I believe. And that's obviously what I want in the outfield is something really big to just close the doors. As soon as it comes in there, I want it to stay in. Um, I feel like the H-Web provides the best web as far as pocket depth goes. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want a super deep pocket, I would go with that. If you want something a little bit more shallow... I would say that the trapeze or the modified trap is probably a better web for you. I think that's really it for outfitters gloves. Here. If you have a modified trapeze, tall seven five, you're an idiot. Shoop has one. Modified? Idiot. Yeah, the JH thirty two. Oh it's a twelve and a half. It is No, no, I think I think it's a twelve seven five. Uh regardless, moral of the story. Um <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um so what I wanna do is I'm gonna obviously bang out the break points. I'm going to talk about every one of my videos. And then for the next one, um, you can use a mallet or I could say you could substitute a softball. I'm a big fan of the glove being able to swallow a softball um, just for a consistency thing. So if you have a softball mallet or just a softball, uh, play a lot of catch. Make sure you're really getting in the pocket. Um, when I'm going to hit this, I want to come downward. I want to come in and I want this pocket to bowl as much as possible. And everything in here, wherever it goes, it's going to funnel right into the center. Everything here is going to funnel right in. So, uh, flaring is another option that's up to you as a player. Whether you like to flare a lot, like whether you like to roll a lot. I'm not a big fan of a massive flare because I feel like that actually cuts off a little bit of this area. So, I want to have the glove be a little wider and just be able to be running in the outfield and just zap it up as soon as it comes down there. So, that's a big thing for me. Um, you got to make a decision how you want to hold the glove. I would say if you're not fielder and you don't hold it at least two in the pinky, you're pretty crazy. I mean, it just gives you a better pocket. And some people I know go three in the pinky. I don't think I can do it on this glove because it's slightly tight. I can do it. I can. And that thing is just absolute butter. Uh, make sure you're playing a lot of catch, like we always say. Um, really work on depth in the outfield. Uh, that's, you know, your best friend is going to be having a nice deep area. Uh, make sure your close is consistent. I would say to get at least to uh, the ring finger, worst case, and then pinky. I could not think of the fingers real quick. <laughs> so Marco like looked and started laughing at me. Um, because if you go anything shallower, you're taking away a lot of your target area. You want to come up and just be able to close here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Kevin Pillar saying. He said they're like trap doors. When this comes and closes, nothing comes out. And then up top, it's not big enough for a baseball to escape it or enter it. So if I dive and it comes in, it's staying in. So I don't ever make snow cone catches ever, but you're probably a lot more athletic than me. You can probably do it. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Definitely going to come out some more tutorials soon. And until next time, have a good day.